And that's what my brother would have wanted. And so here we are. An emotional discovery for a homeless veteran's family. It's a find that will help others avoid suffering the same fate. Yeah, new at 5:30, 10 News reporter Mackenzie Maynard reveals how the Marine's hidden hobby is helping him give back even after his own death. Yeah, just a quick 200 more. I'm used to seeing like artists drop off six to ten pieces. So to get 300, I was like, oh wow, we have to hang this up. <laughs> something I'd never seen before. A few days from the art show already hanging the paintings. You appreciate the work now a lot more hanging up. Dozens of boxes starting to fill the walls. After he passed, then we went, really went through the closets and they were in every corner of his studio. Roger Francis died just after he turned 70 two years ago. But he went by Francis Love because he loved. <laughs> leaving behind his signature and lots of them. Stephen has got one of the service. A service member himself, Francis Love, was a Vietnam veteran. Brandy and Aaron, there's my son. Full of Brandy love for his mine. family, his artwork, and the homeless community. He was homeless for uh, tw about 20 years. Despite being homeless, he never Roger gave up painting. Uh, I'm just so proud. Crazy. That's why Friday, Good Friday Gallery is hosting an art show with all 250 paintings by Francis Love. And I know, know this would have been his life dream. All proceeds will go to the Alpha Project, helping San Diego's homeless. And that's what my brother would have wanted. And so here we are. While he may have passed through his passion, his paintings are continuing to help so many. Mackenzie Maynard. And something tells me they're going to go pretty quickly. 10 News. Oh, beautiful pieces there, too. The art show will be held this Friday at 6 p.m. That's at the Good Friday Gallery downtown.